guys, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you my version of a very popular Indian dish called butter chicken. Now, in doing research for this dish, there was some confusion and some conflicting information that you'll find on the internet, and that's because there is a very similar recipe to butter chicken that is called tiki masala. Um, they share almost exactly the same ingredients, but there is a difference. They are two separate recipes. Um, tiki masala is considered a, a grilled dish, a grilled chicken, uh, and that is cooked in a tandoor oven. Now, uh, butter chicken is actually more like a braised dish, so that's cooked on the stove in a pot. Um, the other thing is, tiki masala isn't actually an authentic Indian recipe, it's actually British. And as you guys know, Britain uh, occupied India for many, many years, and so the British have a great love for Indian food, so you'll find lots of chutneys and curries in uh, British cuisine. So tiki masala is a British dish. Uh, butter chicken is an authentic Indian dish, and that was created in Delhi back in the late 1940s. So I hope I cleared up the confusion between the two dishes. Um, we are doing butter chicken, and today I'm serving mine with basmati rice, which is traditional. Uh, you can also serve it with naan bread. So, enough talking. Let's get cooking. Here I have two pounds of boneless skinless chicken thighs. Now this recipe will work with up to three pounds, uh, the marinade and the sauce itself. So we'll start with some Greek yogurt. We need one cup. To that, I'm gonna add the juice of half a lemon. Just give that a quick stir. Next, we'll add cumin, one tablespoon. And then a teaspoon of garam masala, which is a spice blend of 12 different spices. Just mix that in. And now we'll add the chicken to our yogurt marinade. So just stir that around and coat it uh, nice and evenly and then we're going to marinate it in the refrigerator for a minimum of one hour up to 12 hours so I let my chicken marinate for two hours um, unfortunately I forgot to cut it before I put it in the marinade so uh, I have to do that now but no big deal Cut it into nice big chunks. Next, we'll put the heat under a pot on the stove and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil. Just coat the bottom. Feels warm enough, so I'm gonna add my chicken. And we're gonna start to brown our chicken. And we're gonna brown the chicken on both sides, but we don't have to cook it all the way through. So I have my stove on a little bit higher than a medium uh, heat. Once it's browned lightly, I'm gonna remove the chicken and just set it aside. Now I'm gonna add four tablespoons of butter to the pot. And I rushed this, that was one cup of chopped onion. And this is five cloves of minced garlic and a teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. Now just stir that in and we'll add our spices. A teaspoon each of cumin, garam masala and coriander and a half teaspoon of chili powder and turmeric, a cinnamon stick and one teaspoon of salt. So I'll add all the spices in except for the salt and then just throw the cinnamon stick in and stir and just cook that for a minute to bring out the flavors. Then we'll add the chicken back to the pot and then we'll stir that and coat it with all of the beautiful spices. Next, I'll add a half a cup of chicken broth and one and a half cups of tomato puree. Now 
Now I'll add that one teaspoon of salt, as well as one teaspoon of sugar. Allow your chicken to simmer for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, go ahead and remove the cinnamon stick. And finally, we'll add one cup of heavy whipping cream. Stir that in and allow your chicken to cook for an additional five minutes. After five minutes, your butter chicken is done. Nice and creamy and yummy. So let's plate it and taste it. Okay, here it is guys, our butter chicken. And if you could smell my kitchen, oh my God, it smells so good. I can't wait to try this. I also have some basmati rice on the side and I just topped it with a little fresh cilantro. Hmm. Let me see. All right. Mmm. 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 That is good. The depth of flavor from all the spices that we used. That garam masala. I think it's like 12 or 13 different spices. It's, it's so flavorful, it's so delicious. The meat is really nice and tender. And that sauce is so creamy with just a hint of tang from the tomato sauce. It's absolutely wonderful. I hope you guys try and enjoy this recipe. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget, Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything. And as always guys, until next time, 